Ever found yourself in the kitchen at midnight, guilt tripping over a spoonful of peanut butter because you're on a keto diet and think, this must be cheating, right? Well, what if I told you that might just be your ace in the hole, your wild card? Welcome to the world of dirty fasting. Let's face it, the journey of wellness and weight loss is like navigating through a jungle with a blindfold. You have countless diets shouting for your attention, each promising the moon. Among these, keto stands tall, a beacon of high fat hope. But even within the keto realm, there's a plot twist that not many talk about, dirty fasting. Imagine you're playing poker, but in this game, you're betting on your health. You've got keto, the queen of hearts, in your hand, and then you draw another card, dirty fasting. It feels a bit like cheating, right? Like sneaking a snack into a movie theater. But here's the kicker. It might just be the strategy you need to win the game. Dirty fasting is like keto's rebellious sibling. It's keto, but with a little wiggle room. The traditional fasting or clean fasting is straight out of a monk's playbook. Water, black coffee, or tea only. Enter dirty fasting and the game changes. It's like someone decided to bend the rules, allowing you to have a tiny bit of calories during your fasting window. We're talking about that splash of cream in your coffee, a dash of milk in your tea, or that spoonful of peanut butter at midnight. But wait, I hear you ask, doesn't that break the fast? How does the sorcery work? Ah, my curious viewers, that's where the plot thickens. The theory behind dirty fasting is that as long as you keep your caloric intake low during the fasting window, your body remains in the fasted state, continuing to burn fat for fuel. It's like sneaking your pet into a hotel that's not exactly pet friendly. If it doesn't bark, does the hotel really know? Now, before you start planning your dirty fasting menu, let's dive deeper. Picture this, you're on a boat, your body, sailing on the keto sea, aiming for the island of weight loss. Dirty fasting is the wind in your sails. It's not traditional, but it keeps you moving forward. However, just like any wild card, it's not for everyone. It's the pirate's way of dieting. Not all ships can handle the unconventional route. The magic of dirty fasting lies in its flexibility. It acknowledges that we're not robots programmed to eat the same thing at the same time every day. We're humans, and sometimes life throws us a curveball. Maybe it's a stressful day at work, or maybe your child decided that 5 a.m. is the perfect time to start the day. Dirty fasting says, it's okay to have that splash of cream in your coffee. We're still on track. But here's where it gets interesting, the science behind it. Our bodies are fascinating machines. When you consume a very small amount of calories, your body doesn't switch off its fat burning mode. Instead, it might actually help you stick to your fasting and keto goals longer. Think of it as keeping the engine running on idle. You're not adding enough fuel to switch gears, but you're also not stalling. However, like any tale of adventure and mystery, there's a word of caution. Dirty fasting is not a free pass to a calorie fest. It's a balancing act. Too much cream in your coffee and you might just tip the boat. The key is moderation and understanding your own body. Some people can have a little calorie indulgence and still fast like a pro, while others might find it derails their progress. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the purists. In every story, there's always a group that sticks to the traditional ways. They'll argue that dirty fasting is like trying to cheat at solitaire. But here's the thing, wellness isn't a one-size-fits-all hat. It's about finding what works for you. Dirty fasting might just be the wild card you need to keep the game interesting. And that's the beauty of it. Dirty fasting acknowledges that the path to wellness is not a straight line. It's filled with twists, turns, and the occasional spoonful of peanut butter at midnight. It's about making the diet work for you, not the other way around. So where do you stand? Are you ready to shuffle the deck and see if dirty fasting is your wild card? Remember, the goal is not just to reach the island of weight loss, but to enjoy the journey to learn about your body, and to embrace wellness in a way that makes you happy. As we reach the end of our keto odyssey, remember, wellness is a journey filled with discovery, adaptation, and sometimes a little bit of rule bending. Whether you're a purist sailing the traditional seas or a pirate exploring with dirty fasting, the key is to keep seeking, discovering, and embracing wellness until we reconnect.